Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Sarpath School of Navigation in Seattle with a note on setting up our eNav trainer, GPS and AIS simulator in your computer and charting software. And we'll use an example here of Rose Point's Coastal Explorer. And we start uh, with this. When you sign up for the um, simulation, you receive an email automatically in the ma in the email that has uh, looks like this here. Then you click this link in the middle here. Uh, click that link, and you will be come to this page. And this page shows the information we need to. Uh, start the simulator to make the internet connection to your computer and then to set up the control vessel and so on. So here's the numbers we need here and then uh, 38406. Okay, so we go back to the Coastal Explorer, go up here to the menu, configure electronics, port settings, add a network port, and then the label, I think we'll call the boat M. S, uh, MS, uh, let's say MV, uh, Vename. And then uh, the address we'll type in here is uh, the one given, 50.197.67.4, like that. And then the port number, let me just check the port number, 38406. And here you put the port 38406. And then we're going to listen to that port. We're not going to put it out anywhere, and that's that. Ah, so it's got the signal. And again, um, <coughs> excuse me. Coastal Explorer, we, we send out the information that this is indeed a simulated GPS signal, but uh, Rose Point is one of the few that actually can read that and let you know it. So it's warned us of that here. Uh, so we're done with that, and we're done with that. And we can, uh, we can turn that notice off. So here the vessel showed up. Let me go to the instruments. And that's where it's located. But now let's come back to set up the controls. And that you do from this link. And this is the control panel. And uh, we can resize that. Um, uh, let me resize that guy. Um, and actually, I'm going to just drag him over. I'm going to close this. We don't need that. And I'll just take this guy and make him a little smaller. Now, one of the issues uh, that should be resolved with individuals and their setup is how you want to display the whoops, uh, how you want to display the uh, the controls for the vessel. But this is one way. And um, so let's do, let's first give the vessel a name. Let me make that a little bit bigger, uh, like that. Um, OK, so we're going to call it uh, MV uh, Vina May. And uh, here's the default location. The default location will always be here for any vessel, but we can uh, put this any place we choose. Suppose, for example, back here, we don't want to start up here, the default location or something. We want to start off of West Point. So what you could do is go back to this page and just drag this boat down to here, say, and put it right there. Yeah. And let's submit that. So there, that's moved the location. Otherwise, you can also just very easily type in here 34, 33.456 north. Um, and likewise here. You can just type in. You don't have to, oh, it's got to have a space. So you can type in those numbers if you want to or just use this uh, information here. 
So I'm going to better click that again. Okay, so now I submit. So now the boat is here, down here. Looks like I don't have very many charts loaded. Uh, and then this trail, let me delete that track. Okay, so we have a boat in there. Now the boat's anchored. The red means anchored. If we, if we turn off, we can uh, turn off the anchor or we can drop the anchor. Uh, and we have to anchor it because we can add current. So let me just say that we happen to have 1.5 knots of current in this area flowing towards the south. Okay, so that's good. Now, in principle, that boat ought to be drifting, except that we got the anchor down. So if I let, let go of the anchor here, now look what happens over here uh, in the program. Oh, we've got alerts on because the boat's pointed right into this. Uh, let me go. Uh, let me turn off the alerts for now. Good. We have other uh, videos showing the use of this program and, uh, and the many uh, assets it has, and that's, that's one of them. Uh, but we're not going to use that for right now. But right now, you see, this is the heading sensor. The boat is pointed towards 090, if you see over here on the left. It's pointed towards 090, which is the heading, but it's actually just drifting to the south. Uh, just drifting to the south. So now we could now let's so uh, we're unanchored. Uh, we can now let's say let's turn left. I'm gonna, well let's put some way on the boat here. So you see now I'm up at three knots. And if you watch on the right, you see there's a so I've actually gone seven knots, seven knots, and. Um, and this is the, uh, I'm pointing this way, but I'm going this way. I better keep turning here. Um, let me just keep turning the vessel to the north. And, and you'll be able to, you can zoom in and actually watch the boat turn. Oh, I must have the steps on the C. Oh, okay. So I have the steps on the tracking at very large, so that's why we don't see the trail going around in a circle like that. I'll come back to that. That's a that's again one of the details you can study with a tool like this when you actually have a moving a moving vessel, and. Um, so these are that is now set up and running, and now we have to come back and show the many things you can practice and actually learn more about not only about your own program, but we can turn on uh, turn on uh, AIS traffic and uh, study collision avoidance and things like that. But that's all we want to show for now. Getting it started and underway in Rose Point Coastal Explorer.